Um, is Ray Fiennes right to defend J.K. Rowling? Is Ray Fiennes right to defend J.K. Rowling? So we've obviously discussed this issue a lot before um, in terms of J.K. Rowling's views on women's rights. And actually, uh, the failure of a number of uh, Harry Potter actors uh, to defend her, not only that, some of them have gone on the attack, haven't they, implicitly or otherwise. Uh, this week, Ray Fiennes has uh, sort of stated that he's defended her, that uh, he said the verbal abuse directed at her is disgusting, it's appalling. It's not some obscene uber right-wing fascist. It's just a woman saying, I'm a woman and I feel I'm a woman and I want to be able to say that I'm a woman. And it's interesting, isn't it, that people are so reluctant to say, just let's just start by saying the abuse and death threats and rape threats are wrong. Yeah. Why is that so difficult to it, say? It's, it's just the same old misogyny, isn't it? It's just, it, it's, it's not taking her to word or even reading what she has said. And I've looked again and again and again and I cannot find anything that she said that's anti-trans. No, I or, or, or hateful in any way. It's just not there. Her, spe her, her statement that she put out, there were some moments reading that to myself. I've read it many, many times. A few moments where I thought, that's a bit sharp. But again, it's just her opinion. It's not going to hurt anyone. It's just her experience. And it's certainly not hateful. I mean, she's, she's very explicit about her support she for trans people. It's, it's a very weird one. But why is it, uh, Steve, do you think that, you know, we've had uh, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, Emma Watson, all kind of sticking the knife in a little bit when it comes to J.K. Rowling. But uh, Draco Malfoy, what's his name, Tom Felton, and now Ray Fiennes, who was Voldemort. So is it the villains that are the good guys? <laughs> is that what it is? You're onto something. Yeah. 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 We should look into who was the guy who played the dog. I can never work out whether he was a good guy or a bad guy. Was this the Cerberus yeah. dog? Uh, I mean, I didn't read enough of these things. <laughs> to be fair, I don't have a lot of skin in this game. I've not really watched all the films either. But, is it, but, but <laughs> should it take... I mean, it's, it's, it seems not almost as courage for someone like Ray Fiennes to say the yeah. obvious, which is... Rape threats are bad. No, but I think, I think there is courage involved in that because everyone should be able to say, regardless of whether you think she was too sharp in what she said, just even if you thoroughly disagree with the passion about what she said, you shouldn't then think it's OK to have violence threats, rape threats, death threats. Of course, they're so easy to separate out in your brain. I don't yes. understand why people struggle with this. It, but because you odd. know it happens... And I wouldn't be surprised if people's agents aren't saying, well, maybe you don't want to defend this, but you don't die yes, on this I, I think that's happening quite a lot. The people I've read about who, who take her remarks really seriously and react badly, a lot of these people I read about, they, they grew up with her books and her films. Yes. And they connect a part of their childhood with her work, and they feel somehow betrayed. Yes, but, it's, but again, it comes back to what you said before. They never can quote what she said that it's upset them. Right. It's like they don't know. They've just almost been told, they've been caught up in this hysteria mm. where they have to believe this she thing. She thought, they, they think that she knew them and agreed with them. And when you don't, then you feel like you've been left out. No, but even fold. if you feel betrayed, don't issue a death threat. Yeah, I mean, there is that. I think, I think that's a fair, fair basic point. I forgot point. to say people are nuts. <laughs> and people are nuts. Yeah, yeah.